I'm going to try to take you with me on a journey through the metamorphosis and transformation of all the luggage crisis I have been experiencing on this beautiful bike. Yeah, that's me, the Beno Ibus on the BMX track. She can do it, I can tell you, with 24 inches wheels, she can go everywhere. That is my band, this is how I used to run my business. I started first on that bike, uh, it was a moustache, it was a non-cargo bike, so it wasn't really up for the task. That's me in the garage, taking out the beautiful beast. Um, the way she is right now, well, very different than how she came to me uh, in the first day very uh, raw and naked as you can see in this picture and um, and then I start to customize it and trying to you know make it mine own it and uh, change things here and there uh, the material that I'm most familiar with is wood and concrete and uh, concrete was not a choice really so I start to make things out of wood to this is a really cool insert that I have to fold here at the bottom to make it fit perfectly uh, with some little push I don't even know what it's this ah, on a battery another battery that's why life is about velcros and batteries really, take this out is a pain, yeah? I mean, taking them out is very easy but put them back on is a pain. It's painful. It's painful. So it's not something I do every day or every week. Um, I have to come out with some sort of. Um, okay, <laughs> again. The velocos are incredibly beautiful and probably a lot easier to put on and off which I would have loved to have here I would have loved to buy them but thanks to Brexit and a number of chain supply distribution dealership stuff you can't get them here too expensive I would have paid I would have paid whatever it costs to have them I'm not trying to go through the painful experience of having this all the time. Like that. Oh, it's coming out. You never really know. So this is a kind of bracket that allows, well, I made this out of plywood, but it's, when it's clean and nice, that I recently made, it gives me, okay, it keeps, it keeps the veneer in position, right? Because of the geometry of the rack, is just not perfectly aligned with the shape of the, of the veneer. So far, these tires have right 3,800 miles already, have no punctures at all, but you never know. You really, really never know. And this is for something else. <laughs> Yeah, 6.7 kilos, right? Uh, 
are one kilo. So that straight away is five kilos less. That's a perfect improvement. No brainer. A lot smaller. They have, I don't know. More Velcro. You never know when you need a little bit of Velcro. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, and my survival kit with that together on that. That's all I need, man. Okay. Uh, I have a little light. It's pretty good. They're magnetic as well. They don't obviously. We like to have a magnetic bracket somewhere here. Like a crack. A little piece of magnet somewhere would be nice. Mm -hmm. nice. So one bag is going to be the replacement of that thing. All of that needs to go inside here somewhere. somewhere. But. No, maybe. Uh, 10 years, I fucking love it. If I lose it, I can open the stuff. I have, it has a lot of leads. These long ones here, you believe it or not. With this, I carry a two by four all across the length of the bike. I'm gonna take this off now. I love this. But I wanna take it off. I was saying if I take it off, I'm gonna need a man, I know that. And really there's not a lot of harm on to using this. I wanna take it off now because really what I want to is to retake this. Right? So I know that. that. I'm going to be in the We have socks, we have underwear, this t-shirt can change, yeah? this t-shirt is it's like a working t-shirt, this t-shirt can be a different t-shirt, you know? of uh, South Croydon has been the greatest gift of running a cargo bike. Every week is a discovery of a new place, a new road, and uh, it's quite magical and incredible to, to see that we actually have a lot of space. And I hope it's always stay like this. Um,
this is one of the little projects inside the bike that kept me more entertained is this box that is kind of changing and changing every week <laughs> it's like every week I do a different I open a different hole somewhere else but the original design it was just simply a box that if you flip it it will serve you as a workbench or as a stool to climb up in any case you need to I don't know reach the ceiling and change somebody else uh, light bulb or something I really like the design of these combers, I like the flames, so I'm trying to uh, incorporate that in the design of this sign. I must say that um, this is an original design from Beno. Um, I just made one out of wood in the same shape and I customized it with the logo of Vintage Handyman and Niemeyer Concrete Design. Treat all the signs and the box with saline varnish, clear coat, really nice stuff to use and to apply. Um, yeah, I really like it. Last part of my kit and get stored in this metal box. One of my favorite features of uh, this bike is a magnetic door stopper, and it really gets really handy when you need an extra pair of hands. So far, the change from the van to the cargo bike has been the best thing I ever made. Um, the bike also has given me plenty of opportunities to be creative, transform it, customize it, and own it. You gotta own your bike, make it yours, and have fun in the in the process. This is our QR code for a Facebook group called Trades on Bikes. If you're a trade person and considering to make a change and leave the van behind, check it out. ¡Viva la revolución! Yeah, that's the white bear in Warlingham in South Croydon in the countryside. Beautiful place. Um, last thing I want to say is that there is no cargo bike in the world that can carry everything you want, everything you need, every day, every time. There is no van actually that can do that, there is no car. And um, you have to plan things, you have to think ahead, you have to consider the client's brief all the time and, and play with it. I hope you have enjoyed this video and um, I will keep you in tune with all the Eurobike 2023 plans ahead. Stay tuned, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.